Now I'm going to show you how to change the serial number, the IP address, the wireless SSID name, the password, etc. on your Brightbox. Um, okay, so I'm connected to a serial console and we're monitoring using some software called Minicom um, <coughs> using Ubuntu 11.10. So it's, it's connected by a USB to serial adapter using a prolific PL. Papa Lima 2303 USB to serial chipset. Okay, so let's get into the command prompt and see how to change various non volatile aspects of the router. Boot it up. Press any key before you see this at the bottom here it says automatic startup cancelled. Auto run second countdown. You've got about five seconds or maybe three seconds to cancel. The um, the full boot up before it boots up. So you press any key. You get the bright box prompt here. Uh, type in help. You'll see you've got U to update a flash image or bootloader. Um, M, which changes the board manufacturer setting. C, change the board setting. B, boot program from flash image or from host. Uh, basically boot from a TFTP server um, R reset the board which doesn't mean reset all, all the parameters it means basically reboot the board and help which is this command okay so to change the board to manufacture setting press M you can change the serial number here um, just type in another serial number uh, after the the prompt there but I wouldn't I'll just press return um, I don't know what that means. You can change the MAC address. I'd leave that again. You can change the um, access point pin, which I think is something to do with WPS. Uh, you can change the default SSID. Basically, all these things just you're typing in now are written into non-volatile flash and will be restored as the defaults into the box if you reset the box, hard reset it. Um, you can change the wi the default Wi-Fi key. Um, these things are all set up before Orange sent the router out, send the router out to you, I think. Um, password, I've changed my password to password as the default because at the moment it's a really random key and it's a bit um, annoying to have to remember these different keys. So I've, ri I've pressed return and it's written all those. I didn't change anything. So, now let's press the C option. And it'll say board IP address. The default is 1.1, .1, leave that. Uh, Netmask, gateway IP address, uh, server, that server IP address 1.99 is the server um, at which the Brightbox looks to get its TFTP boot and updates. So if you have a TFTP server running, that's the IP address it's looking for. So you need to run the TFTP server on 192.168.199. Uh, boot image one or two. I've tried booting both images. I can't see a difference between them, but I'm sure there is, but I can't see it. Uh, it's now written that. So I didn't change anything. Um, if I press R, sorry, type R, sorry, and press return, it'll now reboot the board, you see? So there you go. That is the bright box prompt on the bright box and changing NVRAM settings. Take care, God bless you.